Joining us on the webinar is someone who has represented their country at the highest level in four different sports, diverse sports as well, from gymnastics to water skiing to aerobics through to Miss Olympia. Welcome, Sue Stanley. How are you? Well? Hey, Jonesy, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. You know, so water skiing, I didn't realise in 1988, was an Olympic sport. Absolutely, it was a demonstration sport. So uh, we did the opening ceremony on the Han River right next to the Olympic Stadium there, uh, just before the athletes came onto the ground, which was an amazing experience. I don't know whether you've ever seen like Moomba Masters or you've seen at SeaWorld, when you have those three skiers and then you have two skiers and then you have enough enough on top. Yeah, yeah I that love that. On top, so, yeah, I, I, and then... I, I, remember it back back then so why didn't because it was a demonstration sport why didn't they uh, pick up for it to, to to go on I think it's like a lot of things that you've got to have so many sports that are uh, demonstrated and there might be three or four but only one gets selected so then they can rotate different types of sports over the different Olympics so unfortunately it didn't get in for some unknown reason um, and it's just obviously the way that it goes but uh, it was a magnificent experience though fantastic would have you guys got gold, do you think, had it had it gone on to be an Olympic sport? Of course Aussies would have got the gold. The next day was the tournament. It was um, jump trick and slalom is what they call tournament skiing. So that was the competition that was held the next day. So I think one of our guys, Murray Pigden, won the jumps. So they have jump trick and slalom. They'll have an overall or individual. So we did get a couple of medals in there. So, yeah, Australia's pretty much up there in the water skiing world. It's, it's extraordinary, isn't it? Because I look at your history, really, uh, it's, it, people would best know you from aerobics. Uh, and is aerobics still a thing? It is. It's come under the banner of gymnastics now. So the disciplines under gymnastics are usually rhythmic, artistic, men's and women's, there's trampolining and there's tumbling. There's also what they call sport aerobics. So it gets now thrown under the umbrella of uh, um, gymnastics. And what happens is that over the years that happened probably oh, thousands of years ago, that when Olympics first started, you can only take so many gymnasts. So with, with the artistics, you have a team of six, and that's men and women. There's six, there's 12. And then the trampolining, which you saw at the Olympics, then you'll have a team there. So if they had so many people, they would have too many at the Olympics, so different sports. But even though that it is under the umbrella of gymnastics, it's never been in the Olympics. Because it sort of got tarnished, well, not tarnished, but in the in the eighties with the, the the lycra and the crazy outfits and the leg warmers and stuff. But it, it it's a great workout, though, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. But I think the sport of aerobics is only like two minutes long, so it's kind of anaerobic. Whereas when you go into the aerobics, remember the old blood and guts, and you'd sort of sweat sweat it out for an hour, and you'd be doing just normal things. Whereas in aerobics, we sort of tend to do the things that you wouldn't really do uh, in the uh, aerobics room with class, I suppose. So it's kind of a little bit different. It's all condensed from one hour into two-minute routine. Yeah. I, I walked past a Thai bow class one time and I thought, well, that, you know, that looks pretty <laughs> That's That's like extreme aerobics. I, I look at you, so uh, Miss Olympia, so is that is that all the bodybuilding stuff? 